time to slay some noobs in Noob Slayer Simulator. It says defeat and slay noobs across many different worlds. And I just got 10 strength. Now I can get another sword. So I have to swing near the Nooblin to attack. Now the Nooblin is like a goblin, but a noob. <laughs> oh wait, I also have a quest from Angry Old Guy. These darn king noobs kicked me out of my own home. You okay? No! After all I've done for this kingdom, they leave me to rot. Need help? You know what? You help me take down this place, and I'll teach you everything about how to be strong. Start by taking out three nooblin guarding the entrance. Okay, fine. That sounds easy enough. So we're going to get another sword, and we're going to defeat these nooblins because we have to do multiple quests for it. So as we fight these guys, I guess they don't do damage to me. So all I need to do is get my power up, which it actually goes up. It's a clicking game, so it actually goes up as I'm clicking, but it also goes up as I get a sword. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty satisfying to uh, keep smacking away. But it looks like you get cord cords. Swords! I said cords because it's a cardboard cutter cord. Sword! Ah! It's a new sword, and we can equip our sword by hitting equip best, and now we have a card shear. Card shear. So it looks like for now, we have all these like wooden slash cardboard swords that aren't really that OP, but eventually we go to different worlds and we start getting crazier swords and we just completed a quest for this angry old guy. Nice work, Russo. All right, here you go. Technique added, double jump, level one. So now we can double jump and that's pretty sick. And we'll just keep on doing this until we destroy all the noobs. We're gonna destroy every single noob. Oh, I get it why there's cardboard now because look, this is made out of cardboard. Wait, this is kind of a sick build. It's a castle made out of cardboard. I love this. If you already, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell never miss a video because I upload two videos every single day and you don't want to miss them. There's a lot of crazy cool things coming soon, like my new game, uh, my other new game, uh, a new RB Battles released game, um, and also Happy Pet Game. There's really so many things coming, so be on the lookout. You're going to want to sub. You're going to want to have notice on. There's time trials. There's dummies. There's a lot of things. But it's telling us to open our first egg, which is right over here. We're opening this basic egg, and we got a cat. Now, I also can't have the audio of this game on because they have a song that I don't know how to mute because they don't have a settings that I can find. So, hate when games do that because I, I don't get to hear any of the sound effects. But uh, there we go. We got a pet. Pets multiply your power gain. Try swing again. Oh, four per now. So, we get four power per, per hit. And now we have to do 400 to uh, complete this quest. So we're on our way. Look at this guy just found a mythical demon's wrath sword. That sounds really, really cool. So let's do this until we get to 400. And while we're at it, we might as well take on some nooblins. It says we have to defeat eight magical noobs, which I don't know where those are, but we'll have to defeat those guys. And we're about to be at 400 to complete our next quest. There we are. Now, while we've been doing this, we also have a bunch of claimables right here. So we got some potions, some luck, etc., and we can use them in our pack. We got a spin token to spin the wheel and get ourselves a... Oh, the corrupted ring would be so cool, but we got a coin boost. I'll take it. Um, so now that we got these boosts, we can use these. And that's the end of the tutorial. So I'm going to use all my potions right here. That's the end of the tutorial. But we also have this guy right here that wants me to... Uh, Oh, yeah, he won't teach me until I defeat eight magical noobs. So where do I find these magical noobs? Well, we can walk through here. Look at this cardboard area. Like, this map is actually so well done. It's so cool. It's literally a cardboard place. Like, cardboard castle. That's so dope. All right, so we also... Oh, cardboard kingdom. <laughs> um, we also have a bunch of upgrades right here that you use coins for. And... Right now, I don't have that many coins, so we need to get more. So I'm getting nine per... Oh, here's a magical noob. So I'm getting actually nine per swing. So I end up doing more and more damage as I keep swinging. That's what's so satisfying about games like these. Like, you do get better swords over time, but you also just start doing more damage as you're clicking because you're literally getting more strength. You know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. Um, so we have another claimable right here. It's going to be Cryptic Shards. And then in here... You, we we re-roll enchantments, which is cool. Um, here's the items. Here's miscellaneous. Here's artifacts. I don't have any of those. Now, you can also rebirth in this game, but uh, that's not something we're going to do. What we are going to do is check out the passes here. Dual wield! Now, that sounds sick. 
I will get dual wields, and I will buy two swords, and I will swing two swords at the same time. And I will be so cool. Oh, wait, you can get rarer chance or better chance of rare swords? Now that sounds nice. I'm down for that. Also, three pet equip. There's so many things. And my food Uber Eats order is on the way. So many things happening. Okay, so magnet. I'm not sure what that is about. Wait, what's one to three stars significantly? What is that? What are the stars? I haven't encountered that yet. We could also get times two coins. I kind of want to get that. And I think I'm going to get these lucky passes because if I can get better swords from this, that's going to be massive. Like, imagine I just start smacking this guy and I just get the best sword every single time. I'm down. And we have dual wield now, so we can do double the damage. And it's about to be crazy. And as always, everybody's going to ask what this game is called, where they can find it. I always link the games in the description, and it's called Noob Slayer Simulator. So yeah, not sponsored or anything. I just have to say that. So I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm getting critical hits and stuff. But... I can dual wield now, I think. So wh wh where's my two swords? One out of two. Okay, let's equip our best. Let's, uh... Oh, I wish we could, like, craft them together. Can you craft them? I don't think you can. So the two best ones I have right now are Great Board and the Cardboard Demise. Those are the two swords that I have. I have two that I'm equipping. That looks so cool. So now I do double the damage, basically. And that's so quick that we beat these magical noobs. And we can get an even better sword. But um, there's also auto swing, which what we're, is what we're missing as a game pass. I think I'm going to grab that because if I'm auto swinging all the time, I'll just be getting power constantly and I can just stand there and do damage. So like, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take on. Oh, we're not ready to fight that guy. Let's go ahead and take on two more magical noobs and we'll get another ability from this old man. And there we go. There's the, the last one. Look at this. We got double jump right now. We got two double jumps. And now, oh, it's not like anime champion sim where you can just hit complete quest. I love that feature. You don't have to walk all the way back to the guy. All right, let's skip this. He gave me a dash, and now I can do another quest. Okay, so now I have to take on soldiers, and he gave me a dash that uses Q. So that is kind of like anime champions. So now I have a dash level one, and I can level all of these stats up. I wish I could check them somehow. Like, how do I check those stats? I don't, I don't know how to take a look at them but maybe they're somewhere. Wait, they have mounts? They got hoverboards and stuff? Dang. Okay, so these are the Nubli Nublin? Nublin soldiers? Nubian soldiers? I, I can't tell if that's an I or an L, but we need 500k coins, and we need to defeat King Noob to get through here, which is the next guy. We're not quite powerful enough, but again, as we hit a bunch... Wait, I just found a legendary sword? Wait a minute. What did I just find? A legendary sword. Oh my gosh, I just found the index. Or I just found the settings, guys. I'm so stupid. I just found it. So now I can turn the audio on. It's like pet sim do this, but like, man, it's so confusing when the when the UI is all in here because I, I didn't even realize it was here. So we can go ahead and equip our best. Apex dual cutter is our best right now. We also have an index right here. We have daily rewards. And we have the settings right there, which is cool. So um, wait, stats? What's the stats? Oh, that's all my stats right there. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take on... We don't want to take on King Noob just yet. We want to take on three more Nubian or Nublin soldiers. We just got a drop, which was another boost. So let's use that. And now we're doing 20,000 per hit on this guy, dude. We're actually destroying these noobs. This is sick. One more to defeat for this quest to be complete. I have like two dashes. And I'm wondering how I can level that up. But here is this guy. Let's talk to Angry Old Man again. And we got another quest completed. And now this one is defeat four king noobs. Oh my gosh, we beat these guys in one hit every time. That's nuts. All right, what did he give us? He gave us a magic hat. That hat that ho old homeless guy gave you. Wait, so he gave me a hat and now I get 5% power? Dang. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, so we have to take out King Noobs now. King Noobs being the hardest of all the noobs. And in order to get higher stats when we uh, fight him, do this a little bit quicker, we're going to need to buy some stuff, okay? And what we're going to need is we're going to need plus three pet equip, and we're going to need to buy some pets. All right up here, they have a castle egg, they have a cardboard pack, and I kind of want to grab this cardboard pack and then maybe see how good this pet is that comes in it and then get ourselves the castle egg as well. We'll open three just to see what we get, and we'll equip some dope pets. Man, I'm rhyming a lot in this game. 
All right, here's the pets. What do we get? We got a baby dragon, green dragon, and goblin dragon, which is the seven. We got the seven percent green dragon. That's not bad. So we're able to rebirth again. I don't want to do that just yet. What I want to do is use this power boost. Um, I also have a strong material. Uh, but what about the pets? So I have to go here and equip best, and that's what we got now. So these pets are going to make me way stronger. I'm getting so much power. Look at this. 300. Look at my power. And we got a cardboard sun slayer, bro. Wait, so this ravager isn't even as good as these two, which is kind of crazy. But now we have one more king to destroy. And we did it. We actually did it. So we completed the cardboard area. We didn't rebirth yet. And I think we can move on to the next area. I love this map. This is such... Who built this cardboard area? Like, I don't know what they did, but this is insanely good. Like, contact me. Let's work together. Okay, he just gave me a mount, I'm pretty sure. Did we just get our first mount? I think we did. So if we go over here, mounts. Cardboard mount. Let's go. So we have a cardboard mount. Is it M to use? Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's sick. So now I'm mounting around. Look at all these swords I'm getting at the top. That's so satisfying. And now we just have to go to the next area, I think. We did it. We're here. So we are now in Candy World. The land, I should say. So there's also upgrades here. I haven't done any of them. And we we have to actually max out the previous world before we do this. So I think we should start by doing that. So let's go back. How do we teleport back? Let's go back to Cardboard Kingdom. I like this game. This is pretty sick. Um, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, wait, what are we going to do again? Oh, yeah. Max out the upgrades. So we need a lot of coins for this, which we do have. We maxed it out. We maxed that out. And we almost... Wait, we almost maxed out everything. We just need a little bit more coins here. Magnet Pass is actually going to come in handy now. I didn't really understand it, but now I get it. Now I get it. Millions of damage. I literally KO the kings in one shot now, and I'm at almost 2 million coins, which is crazy. So we can probably max upgrade and then go back to Candyland. And there we go. The world is max, baby. We're doing our thing out here. All right, it's time to go actually to Candy World this time. Candy Land, I should say. I keep saying the wrong thing. Hey, Candy Cam. What's up, bud? Can you help me clean up this mess? Sure, why not? I got to take out these ginger noobs right here. And there is a Robux egg here. Well, why not? Why not grab one? Let's see what it's like. Are you good? Are you good against my other one? Cinnamon Demon. Cinnamon Demon. So let's see this pet compared to my others. It's going to be way better. Oh my gosh, this thing is insane. So I got to take out these ginger noobs, which are actually so easy to destroy. And I'm getting new swords here, which are probably better than my current swords. They are way better. 100 power. Oh my gosh. This is so satisfying now that I have a mount. I literally just run through and destroy them instantly. All right, we got another quest from Cam. Cam, what's the next quest? We got to defeat the Chocolate Warriors right over here. That's easy. I literally do 20 million damage, so I, uh, I'm, I'm, pretty, uh, I'm pretty equipped to beat these guys. I haven't rebirthed yet. I'm really scared to because I, I honestly don't want to lose everything. But let's try it. Oh, oh, that doesn't take very long. That's not too bad. So it's making my power go up way faster, but now I have no coins. And yeah, that's kind of awkward. Never mind. Now I have 22 million again. That was easy. <laughs> so rebirthing definitely helps a bit. Okay, so let's go over here to the upgrades. See what we can do here. So run speed, maxed out easy. More coins, maxed out easy. Pet storage, maxed out easy. Sword storage. Wait, I almost maxed out everything already. Wait, I'm actually destroying this world. And we can go to the next Candy Cam quest. So what do we what do we gotta do, Cam? We gotta do six gumdrop guardians. Bro, this is gonna be so easy. You kidding me? I'm so powerful now, it doesn't even matter. Look at this, gumdrop guardian. I just need to take out six of you. You're nothing to me. You're not very powerful at all. I'll just get a new sword from you and I'll destroy you. I did get a pretty good sword right here. I got the uh, Jelly Javelins, which are 310. 
And the sugar blades, I love those. Insane swords, and we're actually about to make it to the next zone. Look at my swords right now, though. The Rocky Slash and the Taffy Licious. Those are doing so much damage, and I'm at 18 million. I'm getting 18 million power. I'm doing like 3 billion damage, 2 billion damage. So now we got a Rocky Slash again, which is going to be my second best sword. We got two of those, and it's time to complete the quest line with Candy Cam. Hello, sir. He gave me another ability. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like just passed by it really quickly. I don't remember what he said, but uh, he gave me something. He gave me some ability for sure. Here's the next area, Toy Town, and we can make it right through, and now we're here to Toy Town. There's a toy soldier. There's playful eggs, and I want to take a look at how many zones there are because it looks like I'm not very close. There's two more zones to go, and we got to do a lot of upgrades and stuff here, so I want to just try and get something really, really OP before we stop, and then... I want to keep on playing in another episode so that I don't like beat the whole game in one episode because this is a pretty good game. So I got dual wield. We got some insane Robux pets and we've been slaying some noobs. We got an elite, which is not really that good out of this egg. But if we can get the um, what's the best one? There's a legendary. There's a mythical. That's what I want to get. OK, we got a rare. I don't know what that is. It looks like a little chocolate dog. It might be. So let's um, make sure our best swords are on. Equip our best pets. We got way better pets here. These multipliers are huge. And let's equip, or let's grab this quest. So 15 toy noob stars. They are starting to get pretty bulky, guys. They're starting to get pretty buff. So having these two swords uh, helps, but I might need to do some rebirths here because that multiplier that you get is huge. Look, 50 times, and then the next one's gonna be 135. It's going up fast. Now, I did just get new swords from here. So let's try these new swords. The Toy Slicer. Oh my gosh, they're way stronger. What the heck? Wait, what the heck? Why are these so much stronger? Oh my gosh, these swords are like insane. I don't know why they're way better. They're not even close. But we're about to complete this quest already. Like it's absolutely nothing. The first quest, dang, rebirthing is the way to go, guys. Rebirthing makes you just start grinding. So I got double jump level three now. Nice. I can double jump so many times. It's time to rebirth there because that is going to help us. Let's get back on the mount. So we need to take on... Wait, I didn't complete that. I didn't grab the next quest. I want to complete this game in another video. I don't want to beat the entire game today. So we're going to stop there. But we got insanely powerful. We just have to defeat plastic pillagers now. And look how fast I beat them. Like, the swords that I got from these guys are crazy. Look at this pixel piercer. Plastic pike. Oh, my gosh. The two swords I got are so OP. That is insane. So, these are the two swords I got. I'm now destroying people that are in the trillions in, like, a second. So, it's safe to say I got pretty dang strong. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell to never miss a video. Because I've been uploading two videos every single day for a while now. And, uh gotta you gotta get with the squad thank you guys so much for watching we got dual wield we got insane swords and we are looking pretty heroic i can't lie thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one two videos a day every single day and later